Hi guys, it's yours truly, Music Clues here. <laughs> you probably noticed that I am doing the setup a little bit different than usual. Uh, uh, usually I have someone in Discord or Skype and we talk over the mic about stuff for gamers then. But this time, unfortunately, our special guest does not have a mic, so I had to do a Discord text chat instead. But, uh, without further ado, do, uh, I want to introduce you to our special guest. Yes? So, oh, uh, I'll have him introduce himself. This is Express Day, guys. Guys, I got a person who is currently working on several fan projects. Uh, Shantae and the Australia, the La Last Phantasma, Sonic Generations, The Last Zones, and Monster World Legends. Okay, okay, that's a good palette. Oh, really? Hey, Final Fantasy Seven, Seven, a fan favorite here on the channel, definitely. The Super Mario Galaxy Two, two is obviously another fan favorite. Speaking of Final Fantasy Seven remake, be sure it's a shameless plug, but be sure to check out our play for a on the channel at one point. Uh, Chrono Trigger is no stranger to me. I've heard that name thousands of times, so I'm not shocked. Sonic Generations is obviously one I've heard as a Sonic fan. Duh. And it's a really it's a huge mind scene behind it. That's obviously a no shocker. Um, and the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, now we're going to be speaking about something related to Sonic Generations later that he's made. made. But, uh, for the time being, let's continue on and I'll type in my next question here on my iPad. That's why you're not seeing me type in my keyboard. I have a key that's actually set to record on this keyboard, so I can't really, yeah, type on it. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Yeah, now we're gonna start talking about, uh, about, about um, the first of his three games. Ains, Ains. Yeah, we he has a couple more in development, but for the sake of the interview, we're only gonna be talking about the three, three he's actually been able to put out there, out out there. Yeah. Uh, the first one be in Shante and Astri Yeah, with. Which, as you can probably tell, is a crossover between Monster World, well then, well, Shantae from Wayfarer, duh. After that, we're going to be diving a little bit deeper into Sonic Generations Lost Zones. Just, just because I'm pretty sure a lot of you who have seen Sonic Generations Lost Zones, Zones before, for at saved previously, even, even, are probably curious about the progress of this game. Alright, alright, so yeah, basically, uh, basically, the shot, uh, the shot, uh, uh, is, ba story was inspired by The Wizard of Oz. 
uh, uh, several different characters will show up. So it's not just a crossover with Shante, but it's a massive crossover between other games in too. Two. Uh, uh, but the basic premise is, is in case you were wondering in terms of story or your lore, this was made way before for, for I want to say Cap Hero or Pirate's Cut. This can't get this thing. But I'm gonna be safe and say Pirate's Curse. Uh, the Pirate's Curse, and, but before Half Genie Hero and Seven Sirens. Beans. After Monster World, it's simple. This takes place after Monster World 4. I guess why Xbox does type in, I can explain a little bit more in depth to the story. Story. So basically, Shantae is called from Squadland and via a portal. Oh. Portal into the world of Monster World. Oh. It's up to her, Australia, and several other people to help them help, help the friends get back home. Um, and in the meantime, I make as many friends as they can along the way. As he said, and I will put, uh, and I will put, put up some gameplay from my end since I played this game a little bit. Um, this is a game with RPG. It's an action platformer with RPG elements. So it basically has the usual your conversations, patience, your. Your inventory, your yeah, you get the picture. picture. So yeah, that's basically the synopsis, synopsis in terms of um, well, the game. I probably move my mouse cursor out of the way. Sorry about that, guys. Didn't know sign until now. <laughs> okay, so basically, basically, he got inspiration from The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, which is a fan favorite in the Zelda series. And the Persona games, as particularly Persona 3, 3, which is ironically also a fan favorite in the Persona series. series so that's not 100% surprising. Uh, that's great. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, he decided to see a game that include that where the characters you was about to create will increase your array of abilities you play with. As long as they're in your heart, you can borrow their power for your usage. I like that. I like that concept. I didn't say anything like that. gonna be asking them one more one or two more questions on this this and then we're gonna move forward talking about Sonic Generations to the last one pretty sure anybody as a Sonic fan is probably curious to know know what the future plan is for Sonic Generations to the last one so especially since I have seen it be an overall a pretty big game in the community well okay maybe not big but it was impressive to say the least Yeah. 
And it's kind of cool because the 8-bit, 8-bit games, you, you never get any love from Sega anymore. Come on. Like the last one I could never get any, any type of notice from Sega was when they did, did a remix of Underground Zone from the 8-bit version of Sign 2, by, uh, which was done by both Jones and Nia and Tilo. You probably also know, noticed that I said was instead of is. Is that's because he's finished making this fan game. Yes, you heard me. He's actually fin finished making this crossover fan game. I'm not gonna say too much because this is technically game is happening. So yeah, full stuff. Bye. But I will say this. 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 You're in for a pretty fun ride. Alright, oh and uh, YouTubers, please do yourself a favor and cover this wonderful thing game from this wonderful guy. But I should warn you, it ends on a cliffhanger. Hang on, for what I've seen. Yeah, just a warning. Sorry about that, folks. Folks, uh, <laughs> okay. Anyways, is okay. So back in 2017, that was actually around the time Sonic Mania came out. Uh, uh the get aim started on DeviantArt. Mm. Oh, mm. And he met his co-developer Redplay, who at the time was very shy. He asked if he could assist in making the game in some way, and I accepted instantly. Since then, it's been a chain of individuals who have helped me along the way with various tasks. To simply put, put if it wasn't for anybody by who helped them along the way with their kindness, participation, and inspiring words. Okay, okay. So we owe a lot of pe people. So um. Uh, I wanted to give a hard held shout out from everybody here at the Go Gamers to the developers. Developers of uh, Shantan Australia, please go check out this wonderful fan game. In fact, I'll leave links to all of these wonderful fan games in the description below, below so you all can check them out and play them. Um, it'd be a good time too with Sage coming up uh, to play some previous games. I'm going to ask him one more question, and that's about the future of this game. Yes, there is a yeah, there is a lot large update in the works that will release sometime this year. The idea is to implement content that was scrapped in the base game and putting that back in. Since these, since it's like very likely these characters will never meet again, we were all going all out as well as adding additionally as m much content as we possibly can. The reputation of this project has been bought both myself and those around me very happy so give a massive thank you all of that is coming very soon this includes stages bosses and even a second story on so we hope you are continue looking forward to continuing the journey so it looks like this game is getting in pretty much a complete overhaul all from what it looks like and add some more content to you for you guys so I am looking forward to seeing this update now, I would please advise, as a leader of the Go Gamers, gamers to not push a Shex Buster on when's it coming out, when's it coming out, when's it coming out. Please, I beg. Hey, the guy's very busy and is working every single day. Day, as hard as he can to get this game in out as much as he pop. Uh, games update out ASAP. 
So please be a little patient. I'm asking you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Xbuster and the developers of uh, Shantae and Australia would really appreciate it. So why Xbuster is replying to this question, question, is how, uh, I'll explain time generations for those who have not played this one, this game, uh, at, at fan favorite game. So basically, back on Sonic's 20th anniversary, second released two versions of generations, one for the 3DS and one, one for the Nintendo, one for consoles and PC. Uh, back then, then it included all one level each, or in this case two levels each, from Sonic's hand, from Sonic's history as a Sonic's history uh, as well a uh, game. Uh, it's up to this and Sonic. Okay, continuing on. Sorry for that distraction. Uh, uh, basic, basically, from Sonic to the from Sonic One all the way to Sonic Colors. Now it's kind of blatantly obvious, but of course, both versions include the Green Hill, and so does the last one. So it's to make things pretty clear. Uh, but, uh, uh, all the other zones after that are completely different. Different, different in terms of what zones they represent. And, and there are some games missing, missing that the VDS version has that the console version doesn't. Mm. Probably either due to storage limitations or console limitations, really. Either way, Saturation for the Lost Zones is a sub. Well, I'll let, let X plus to explain it, but side genera regular side generations is basically a celebration of all things things up to Sonic's point. If we get a Generations 2, it will include all, hopefully, all the previous stuff, including Sonic Mania. Yeah, but uh, that's a pretty big if. If, if we get it. But either way, Xbuster seems to be almost done typing, typing and stuff, so all I can explain what makes the last zones different from Sonic Generations. Wait, Generations is console and CDS version. So yeah, um, this is... Uh, the last one is basically kind of like the remix we've been seeing lately, lately for some of the classic Sonic games, such as such as Sonic 2D and 3D, which remakes a uh, 2D uh, Sonic 3D Blast into a 2D Sonic game. And, or Sonic Chaos. That's by the wonderful team being led by Aiden Stark. But who, if you don't know, is the popular who's behind the popular glitch series, Son of a Glitch. And no, I did not swear. Where that is literally the name of the series. You can look it up. Look, I did not say swear. I promise. So, oh, one, like I said, like you said, this is to pay tribute to the 8-bit era of Sonic. And he did issue an update and later to added a couple more zones into the game, but outside of that, I haven't seen too much. Much, so I'm curious to see why, I have to get a little bit more info, info on to why it is for all of you guys who are wondering the premise of this game. Oh, okay. I think 
where he's going. Okay, so basically, for those who don't know, uh, Classic Tales also is in the White War with Sonic. This takes place after Side Generation. So basically, he's saying this takes place after Side Generation. Generations. Something didn't happen on Sonic and Classic Sonic and Tales way back. And they end up back in the White World. Only this time it's different. Like, Green Hill is still there. There, it seems to be themes that 8 bit, uh, the levels from Sonic's 8 bit history, the somewhat neglected history, history of Sonic, uh, made its way into the White World as well. Well, uh, just in a separate area, separate from the console areas of the White World. Okay, okay, so it looks like this guy, I, in addition to, probably said I'm paying attention more to the console history of Sonic, Sonic, he plans to get this thing again done, hopefully in time for 2021, which is, by the way, wait, this is kind of ironic, but after 60th Sonic, uh, second 60th anniversary this year, we move on to Sonic's, Sonic's 30th anniversary. Yeah, you heard me. He's turning 30. You wonder why you uh, uh, why he hasn't gone down yet? Yet, despite the strips and, uh, trips and dumbbells? God dang it. Dang it. That's one stubborn hedgehog. I really love him. So that's what makes him Sonic. <laughs> So this was featured back at Sage 2016, around the time that Sonic Mania and, and Sonic Forces, aka Project Sonic 2017, what was announced, announced, and sadly was put on hold, hold due for several reasons. Reasons. Hopefully this time it will be finished. Finished. I have great hope that it will. But yeah. Now the last one we're going to talk about is Master World Legends, but he has. Not completely finished development on this one, so um, I'm only gonna ask him one question and one question will be from Master World Legends, Legends, and then if I can't come up with anything else, we will wrap up this interview. Okay, so this seems to be, be the Monster Hunter World version of Sonic Generations. Well, maybe a little different. <laughs> different. So this is going to be a powerful new threat that these characters want to feature. Uh, of course, amongst the official ones, Australia will be officially featured. Featured, but it seems like seems like we'll also have original characters characters so there will be some characters that aren't in the monster world games that will be featured in this yes. 
Interesting. So let me, let me get it up bigger here on the screen so you guys can see. Okay. Okay. So the timeline is currently in 2020. He's working on finishing up version two of Ashley, Ashleena versus uh, Ashleena and and Sean, uh, Ante and Ashleena, uh, Ashina, Dream Phantasma. Then in 2021, he is focusing on Monster Hunter World Legends, Sonic Generations, Nations of the Last Zones, and, and Dream Phantasma version 3. Hmm. Interesting. And then in 2021 and beyond, Monster Hunter World Maker? And an original game. Hmm. I'm curious of what he has to... Sorry about that guys, I had to deal with something with Emerald all real quick. Mm -mm. So for starters, starters, I would like to say a huh? If you are someone who has waited on a particular project for far too, too long, I deeply and humbly apologize. I know it isn't easy to look forward to something to only be let down time and time again. That's happened happened with a lot of games and fan projects alike. Can't tell you how many. While I do realize these po these are fan projects, I do take them very seriously. It's not easy to be in the fan and developing these. I can definitely tell that. Especially with Sonic fan games. And I'm gonna say this right now, but in the modern day, very, few get finished. It's just thought I say that. It's not to say that the developers, developers didn't take time, time, but do We'll say due to the um, sweat morale of Sonic going downhill every single time, <laughs> it hasn't necessarily been a fairly positive experience. It's, I don't want to say hey, that Sonic's negative games have caused a negative attitude towards fans, but I also say that friendships and hardships are definitely one thing. <laughs> that no developer, fan or otherwise, wants to deal with. That's just coming from my standpoint, of course. Of course, if I'm morally wrong, please feel free to correct me. Honestly, I don't know how development is, is since I am a bystander on this, so yeah. As for how I learned these sex buster, um, I learned of these through my social media pals. Pa pals. And I also saw your and game at Sage. Which, by the way, speaking of 
uh, and by that I meant both uh, Shanti and Australia. I saw, saw a long play of it. If it, it you commented on it, I'm pretty sure you know which video I'm talking about. Um, and Sonic Generations, the last one, actually got a good amount of coverage, just so you know, dude. Dude, dude, from YouTubers and other people alike. Like, so, you, you def, I hope you definitely finish that one up. up. It'd be awesome to see a tribute, tribute to Sonic's 8 video since that one gets overshadowed. And I do mean overshadowed. Oh. I don't, so, yeah. Yeah. Lord Jesus Christ! Mm. Me, 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 me! You, 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 you! Here it goes! As for shoutouts, I do have an individuals to thank, but first, thank you once again for having me, and this has been a truly wonderful experience. As for the others, I'd like to thank the following individuals <clears throat> Massimo, Fredrin, We Met, Nak. Nick Maka, Eon Sun, Sphinx, Chid, uh, uh, Josh, kid, it, Aspirid, Kevin and Andrew, you, uh, Hamak 7, and it's a mate, Yo, so, Swan is online, um, Malik V, uh, Vertex, Gene Coyle, Wolf Flame, Fredrix, Spruce, 13A, Nautilic, Polio, Mur, Babesoro, 10, Ninch, 10, Fudge, Fudge's Killing the Meter. Okay, I'm gonna probably read that one more. Uh, Persona, DC, Wattlix, 123. Uh, Wings one two three, Link two one one two, Arca, Gradget, Alter Ego, Dial Halto, Ja, Ah, uh, Alis, Katona, Lazy Blue, Gigs, and Kakushina, Ugly Gigs. Woo! That's a lot of people. Sheesh. All right. All right, guys. If you need, need to keep an eye, eye on our buddy X Buster, Buster, you can follow him on Twitter at xbuster94 and on Game Show at xbuster. xbuster. I'll leave links in the description below to both his Twitter and Game Show jo so you guys can keep an eye on him. Okay, let's just thank him one more time and then we'll wrap up this video. <laughs> Glad I could be of service, ex Buster. Buster, anytime, dude. Oop, I'm glad you feel better after laying all this out. I, don't, I can tell you definitely feel a lot better, even for the tax. Until next time, time indeed. All right, guys, that's all for now for this and you. 
thank, thank you so much, much, much to X Buster once a year for letting me interview him. Be sure to keep an eye on his podcast on Shante and Australia and all of his other wonderful fan game projects. And for now, this is yours truly, DJ Musicals, signing out for this edition uh, or this episode of Gamers Den. I will see you in the next interview. And, and th- till then, see ya.